So October of 2019, I had fallen and I had damaged both of my legs. I had a severe fracture in my left and I had a hairline in my right. They did um, a surgery on my left, put some hardware in, and I had some residual pain from that. So they removed the hardware a couple years later and I was still having issues in my right leg. I was taking hydrocodone every three to four hours at the point where I couldn't function, I couldn't drive, I couldn't operate a vehicle, I couldn't be at work really because I couldn't focus on anything where it got to the point where I was um, going to the ER for it. So when Lexi first came to me, um, she was in a lot of pain and nothing was really helping a lot. And the pain was one thing, but she also had weakness. Um, she was having trouble picking up her foot off the ground. And um, at, at one point she was in a wheelchair. She had severe pain for quite a long time. And all the providers that she went to couldn't figure it out. And you get the feeling that other people thought maybe she's crazy. So I had a lot of um, anxiety. I had a lot of, um, I would just like cry some days, not so much from the pain part of it, but because they couldn't tell me what was happening and they couldn't, it just felt like no one believed what I was, you know, going through. So, But I really felt that she may have an injury to one of the nerves that helps her bring her foot back and dorsiflex her foot. Fortunately, in Boise, we have some really good collaborators. And so I ordered a nerve conduction test. And we had this done by one of my colleagues. And the beautiful thing about our relationship is we communicate very clearly. So EMG is um, an electrodiagnostic technique that studies the nerves and the muscles with objective testing. After the EMG, um, right in the same appointment, I got out the ultrasound and I was able to visualize her perineal nerve. And the first thing I noticed was that it was bigger than the other side. On the lateral edge of the fibula, there was a bone spur protruding right under the nerve. And I could see that as she moved her knee, the nerve just slid across that bone spur up and down, and it was causing this shearing pain. And then I could correlate that to the area of conduction block that I saw on EMG. And so there was this anatomical neurophysiological correlation that told me what the problem was. And so then I went from there and um, referred her back to Dr. Hirose and with this information, and they were able to take care of it. We went to the operating room and very carefully identified the common perineal nerve and the bony bump that was growing right around the nerve and took off the bump and sent it to the lab. And then the nerve was compressed around that area, so I freed up the nerve to allow it to breathe better so it doesn't, it doesn't have any compression. But as soon as the surgery happened, it was 100% better. Yes, pain from the incision, pain from you know the bone being cut, but no other pain at all. I could be at work. I could talk to people, you know, walk my dog, and you know that kind of thing. So my mental health, I feel it like got better because I was like, okay, I'm not crazy. <laughs> There's something that happened, and they fixed it. 